Hello bunnies, really simple in this video I'm going to show you how I put on my falls lashes using the model21.com eyelashes. Okay, now the first technique that I'm going to show you is using regular hair bonding glue. Now we're going to put that glue right along the bands of the lash, um, focusing mainly on the corners so that it sticks really well at those points and doesn't lift off. Now the thing I love the most about the model21.com eyelashes are that the bands are so wide that there is no way for you to mess up because you really don't want to get that bond glue on the lash itself. Now with your tweezers you're going to grab that lash and try to get the lash as close to your natural lash line as possible so you go all the way up as close to your mirror so that you can see what you're doing and just place that starting from in the center of your eye and then pin the corners down and that's about it you just use your tweezers to make sure that they're steady and yeah and that's it now right here I'm using my fingers just to press the lash in towards my lid so that it's secure, it sticks really well. What I'm also using is my tweezers just to squeeze the, my lashes with the lash in. You can also use clear mascara to help to blend your natural lash with the false lashes. Now the next technique we're going to use in trying to find my lash flare is the using the clear um, clear lash glue. I'm so tongue tired today, I can't speak properly as usual, right? Okay, anyways, <laughs> clear lash glue, and just like with the bonding glue, you're gonna try to get that right onto the band of the lash. Now, if this gets onto the lashes, it's not as bad as the bonding glue because it does dry clear. It goes on really white, but it does dry clear. And again, like I said, the model 21 eyelash.com lashes, the band is very wide, so there is no way you can mess up with these lashes, especially if it's your first time doing it. Now, what I absolutely hate with the lash glue is that you have to wait like a minute or two for the um, glue to become tacky enough to put on your eyelid, because if you don't wait those couple minutes or so, when you put them on they will slide right off and you will get so frustrated and trust me I've been there before okay now when you think the glue is dry enough or tacky enough you take it again with your tweezers and you put it right along the lash line just like you did with the first technique using the bonding glue um, just take your tweezers like I just said put it on the lash line like I just said <laughs> And um, starting from the center, you put that on there and then pin down the corners. Now, what I did wrong is that I still did not wait long enough. And I swear to you, I had it there for like a good two minutes. This is why I hate using lash glue. Because you will see that the corner, the inner corner of the lash, it still did not adhere to my eyelid the way that it's supposed to adhere. Um, that's why I will forever stick with the bonding glue because you can just clean that baby right off and put it back in the case and you're good to use it again and again until the lash dies on you. See that's what I'm talking about, that issue right there in the corner of the eye, like that's annoying and then you have to, when you, if you do decide to retouch it instead of just switching to bonding glue, you still have to wait a couple minutes for it to adhere again, get tacky enough and all that stuff so yeah, very annoying to deal with but um, I guess it's the more professional way to do it. Um, yeah, and right there, I'm just using my fingers like I did with the first time to just press the lash into my lid and make sure to make sure that it's secure. And that's about it. Any mistakes or whatever that you may have, you can fix that with um, a liner, eyeliner. Why can't I speak? Oh my gosh! Yeah. Um, eyeliner will fix whatever gaps there are in the middle of your lid. Um, I don't really fuss about that, but that's it. 